This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Ford. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you ask me, John Rettinger, any questions you've got from the wide, ever-expanding world of technology. Up this week on Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk iOS 7, iPhone 5S, BlackBerry 10, and all kinds of tech in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Our first user, Tyler Bertricia, wants to ask, or Bertricka, one of those. John, I was wondering what you expect to come out of iOS 7 under new management. Do you think major changes will be incremental or come out altogether? Here's what I'm thinking for iOS 7. Work on iOS 7 probably started long before iOS 6 was even released. So do I think iOS 7 is going to be the big Johnny Ived version of iOS? The answer is probably not. I will probably see that in iOS 8. But... There's a big caveat here. When the iPhone 5S is announced, you know, next October-ish, perhaps it won't be announced with a new OS. Maybe it'll have the current version of iOS 6 on it, and perhaps an Ived up iOS 7 will come a few months later. That'd be the only way I'd really expect Johnny I's influence to really sort of filter through the full operating system. New features that I expect or I hope that we can see. I would like a way to close all the apps. I hate having to go through one by one by one by one by one. It's such a pain in the butt. If you guys ever close applications, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Second, I think with Johnny I's influence, we're going to see things stop looking like they actually look like in real life. So the calendar, not kind of that leather look and feel to it. I think we're going to see a much more stylized operating system. I also think we're finally going to see some sort of widgets on the home screen. Uh, or an Apple way to quickly show information right on the home screen. So whether or not it's something like Live Tiles or Android's widgets, I think we're finally going to see a new redesigned home screen for iOS. So clap! It's been a long time coming. User has 149DZ asks, Hey, John, based on all the previews of BlackBerry 10 so far, do you think RIM can bounce back or will this be goodbye? I really hope RIM can bounce back. Uh, maybe it's because I review a lot of phones, but I've gotten kind of bored with all the devices that are out there right now. iOS has gotten stale to me. Even Android's gotten a little bit stale. Uh, Windows Phone, even a little bit as well. So I'd like to see something new and fresh, and I'm hoping that RIM's got something in store. I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt. They have had tons of time. Lord knows they've had tons of time to go ahead and get that done. Uh, they've been working on it for years. Some would say the better part of six years have gone into BlackBerry 10 about a year after... Uh, the iPhones launch. So I'm hoping they can do it. I'm hoping they got the QNX code set and ready to go for a late January launch. I'm not overly optimistic though, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> so for the BlackBerry faithful out there, what do you think? I know I'm looking forward to a BlackBerry 10th the physical keyboard. I would love to have that glorious bold 9900 keyboard on a robust modern operating system. Maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? That's what comes from Twitter at ShivNeil93 asks at John 4 Lakers. Will there be an iPhone 5S in the near future? If yes, what can they add? Yes, there will be an iPhone 5S in the near future. We've seen the iPhone 3G go to the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4 go to the iPhone 4S, and we'd expect that the iPhone 5 will go to the iPhone 5S as well. I think we'll follow the same path of minor hardware upgrades and probably software upgrades as well. Maybe we'll have some new Siri features. Maybe we'll even get NFC or some sort of mobile payments as sort of the new hardware. The phone's gonna look exactly the same as the iPhone 5. So I always recommend people are gonna get a new phone every two years, get the first version. User at Choppa72 wants to know, at John for Lakers, Galaxy S4 may be coming with an unbreakable screen. Is there another tech with this screen? So the answer to that is no, there's no such thing as an unbreakable screen, no matter what anybody wants to say. So first of all, they're just rumors. Samsung hasn't come out and said, our Galaxy S4 is going to have a crazy unbreakable screen. You could throw a house on it and it's not going to crack. But presumably, it'll have new Gorilla Glass technology, maybe Gorilla Glass 3, perhaps we'll see at CES. Or maybe we'll have some Samsung's own glass technology. Go out and get a Galaxy S4 for the faster processor, for the new operating system, for the new camera, for the new looks of the phone. All those reasons, but really don't spend that much time worrying about the glass. But that's just my opinion. So we take a minute from answering all the questions to thank our friends and sponsors at Ford. So there are a lot of ways to make sure you keep your Ford Focus electric full of juice and ready to go where you want. One of the easiest though is take advantage of public charging stations. These are popping up all over the country and can be really easy to find using a ton of smartphone apps. All you do, walk up to the station, pay for the charge, in some cases they're even free, plug it in and go on your way. Charging in a charging station is incredibly easy. Pull out the nozzle, take it to your car, 
Open up the latch, plug it in, you're good to go. Get plenty of juice, making range anxiety a thing of the past. This is a Ford Focus electric, credible car, great drive, and plenty of juice to get you where you need to go. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. We are back every week answering your questions. Thank you guys for your support. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, see you next video. What is up guys, Jacob or By Night here, and today I have a pretty exciting video to release because I'm going to be covering the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, so there has been a lot of speculation about this new phone that has been circulating around the webs recently because of a video that was recently released by Samsung. So Samsung released a teaser video hinting at the company's plans for an upcoming consumer electronics show in January of 2013, promising something new for its fans. Of its products now sadly the company short video which I'll show in a few seconds available on YouTube uh, but you can just watch it in this video as well is somewhat short on details and heavy on marketing but it seems likely that the company is planning to use the event to unveil a next generation Android device most probably the Galaxy S4 now because I'm guessing you guys are curious and most of you have not seen this video yet I'll show it now Now, as I mentioned before, this video tells us almost nothing. But luckily for us, there has been other leaks around the internet that tell us a lot more about the Samsung Galaxy S4 than this video, so let's get into those now. So far, sadly, the leaks surrounding the S4's suspected price tag have been thin on the ground, although we can expect its costs to be at least as much as the S3 when it was launched back in May, a wallet busting £499. However, prices will be a lot less if you buy the S4 with a contract. Either way, however, the S4 is suspected to cost a little less than the iPhone 5. Let's now get into what you have all been waiting for, some leaked specs about the Galaxy S4. Now, according to sources speaking to Taiwanese industry rumor site Diggy Times, the S4 will include a 5-inch full HD display with an impressive 1920 to 1080 resolution. Following a trend starting with rival HTC Butterfly ha handset, such a display would boast an impressive pixel density of around 440 pixels per inch, or PPI, significantly above the resolution of Apple's Retina display technology. Another separate rumor supports this ever-increasing screen size mania, including a report from the Korea Times suggesting that the new entry in the Galaxy Note family imaginatively doubled the Galaxy Note 3 screen size, which includes an impressively large 6.3 inch full HD display. Another rumor has pointed to the use of flexible display technology, previously demonstrated at the standalone product by Samsung to give the Galaxy S4 an unbreakable screen. Sadly, this may not come to pass, at least not until the Galaxy S5 is ready. With The Verge quoting an anonymous source as sta stating that the commercial implementation of Samsung's flexible display technology in smartphone devices is still a while off. Even with all of this, still uncertain, we can definitely look forward to the S4 as an impressive device and let me tell you now that it is going to have one of the most impressive screens that any smartphone has ever had. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you would like to like this video, that would help me out a lot as it helps this video move up in the search results. If you found this informative, uh, clicking that little like button will definitely uh, help me in a big way. And also, if you'd like to see some information about the Gal uh, iPhone 6, you can look at that in uh, on the screen right now or with the link in the description. And also, I have a little teaser trailer for the iPhone 6, which you can click as well. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Also, uh, if you want more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe, and I will talk to you all.